In this video I'm going to show you how you can place components such as terminals using the terminal editor. Okay so you can see that in my project I've se segregated my drawings into schematic and GA. This is a typical format. So I'm going to open up my GA here and you can see I've got the start of a GA layout. I've got a panel I've got some breakers, some four pole breakers here and some two pole breakers here and some contactors here or uh, motor starters actually <clears throat> okay I've also got some terminals down the bottom here so I'm just going to close I'm just going to finish renumbering my drawing so that we get some terminal numbers so my terminals are numbered via the wire number so they pick up the wire number and then number themselves accordingly. Drawing wide. There we go. So you can see there, not only did the wire numbers populated, but so did the terminal numbers as well. Okay, so now I go back. I'm going to close these down. Close that one as well. So I'm going to go back to my GA, and you can see I've got terminal rail lay, uh, laid down here already so I'm going to update that terminal rail that exists in my drawing so I go to my panel tab and I go to my terminal footprint panel and then I go to my editor button here you can see I've got two rails one with eight terminals one with 32 so this one here is actually my XA rail so it needs updating so I'm going to click edit Okay, so I'm going to move this over here a little bit. So you can see I've got all my terminals with terminal numbers and it also tells me the wire layers and the wire numbers and where it comes from and where it goes to. Yeah. Alright, so that's really helpful. I can also organise this by number, should I wish to, by clicking on the number button at the top there. Okay, I can go to my layout preview. And there you can see my complete set of terminals, the wires that go in and come out of that terminal. So all I have to do is click rebuild. It tells me that it's been rebuilt on this drawing. Yep, yeah, in this project. I click OK and click OK, click done, and then save. And there you go. It's updated my terminal rail then runs through updating the cross references in the schematic so what that means is I can right click on any of these terminals and click on my surf, uh, surfer here I like to call him my surfer dude and then click on whichever terminal I wish to click on so these are all the terminals in sheet 4 so they're the footprint terminals in, and this one here is the one in the schematic so I can click go to and that'll take me directly to it on the schematic. Obviously that goes either way. Go to. Takes me directly to it. So you've got the full list on that rail there. If I wanted to add to that rail, maybe I want to add an end stop on that rail. I can go back to my editor. Click OK. Click edit even. And then what I'm going to do is insert a spare oh, hang on. Yep. Uh, pick up catalog assignment for that spare um, see so if we can find let's do a search for end there we go in plate which would it be? Maybe that one. I'll try that one. Insert above. And do the same again. Down here. Spare. Insert. Catalog lookup. And what you can do, which is quite nice actually. I think it was that one we selected last time. You can actually add that to your favourites. So if it's one you use regularly, makes life easy. You click on that, 
filters down to just show you your favourites. There we go. Insert below this time. So we have a look at the preview. There we go, we've got a spare left and right. And then just click rebuild. Okay. And click OK and then click done. Okay, so that's how you can use your terminal rail editor to place terminals in one click. Thank you for listening. Please feel free to contact Mana Machine if you have any further questions. Bye.